Thanks, Mark. In just under an hour, Governor Rick Snyder is set to address the state of Michigan and give his vision for the next year. It's called the State of the State Address, and one thing he's expected to talk about is actually internet sales taxes on those online purchases. Seven of Four's Lauren Amstead spoke with local business leaders today. Joins us now live in the studio with the details. Lauren. Thousands of businesses across Michigan, large and small, are urging the governor to pass what's being called the Main Street Fairness Bill this year. If you shop online, chances are you're probably breaking the law. That's because internet retailers like Amazon.com don't collect Michigan's 6% sales tax. They don't have to, but you are legally obligated to pay it. The loophole is something many local businesses want changed. It does make a big difference for a lot of our local businesses to compete with some of the online brands. From grocery stores to agribusinesses to bookstores, thousands of businesses are looking to Lansing for change. Amy Reynolds, sales manager at Horizon Books in downtown Traverse City, says they're put at a competitive disadvantage. It's not special um, compensation, it's not special treatment, it's leveling the playing field so that the small business on Main Street can compete with the large online retailers. And by forcing internet retailers to charge the sales tax, it could bring in much needed revenue to Michigan. According to a state study, closing the loophole could save an estimated $142 million a year in lost sales tax revenue. It could also bring in $126 million in additional sales and create 1,600 new jobs. And the state is also in a position of needing to find additional or different revenue opportunities. This is one of them. We're all for a level playing field that's only fair and only right. The legislation would require online businesses to offer a link to another website where the buyer would then make their purchase and the inter internet store could then collect the taxes. Live in the studio, Lorne Amstutz, 7 and 4 News.